Welcome to the Kiva Partner Academy. In this lesson, we will take a brief tour of Kiva's partner admin system, known as PA2. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand the basic navigational elements of PA2, understand the home page in PA2, understand the purpose of each tab in PA2, and access the Partner Help Center. This lesson is intended for management you should understand how to access information in PA2, including monthly statements and reports. And the Kiva Coordinator. You will be responsible for completing many tasks within PA2. So what exactly is PA2? Kiva's Partner Admin System is the website you will use to conduct your work with Kiva. It is located at http colon slash slash partners kiva.org. Within PA2, you can post loans for funding by Kiva lenders, report repayments to Kiva, post journals to update Kiva lenders, access statements, reports, and settings, and access the Help Center. Let's take a brief video tour of PA2 now. Please note that based on the type of partnership you have with Kiva, your organization's PA2 account might display slightly different information than displayed on this page. The functionality described in this section remains the same for all of Kiva's partners. This video was recorded in Kiva's test system, so please disregard the orange banner at the top. To log in to PA2, enter your email address and password. When you first log in, you will be taken to the home page. Before we learn more about this page, let's review some quick tips for navigating within PA2. Tip number one. Text in blue font indicates an active link. Sometimes these links will take you to other pages within PA2, and sometimes these links will open boxes with more information. Tip number two. Some terms in PA2 are accompanied by a question mark icon. If you click the question mark, a box will open with more information. And finally, tip number three. You can use the search bar at the top of any page to search for a specific loan by entering the borrower's name, loan ID, client ID, or Kiva ID. When you locate the loan, you can click the borrower's name to view the details of the loan. You can also click various buttons to make updates to the loan. Now, let's review the information on the home page. At the top of the page, you will see a billing box. The billing box makes it easy for you to see how much money your organization owes to Kiva and when it is due, if applicable. If your organization does not owe Kiva any money, you will see the amount of the last wire transfer that was made between Kiva and your organization. In the Loans box, you will see the total number of loans in Inactive, Fundraising, and Issue statuses. If any of the issue loans are awaiting correction, the total will be highlighted in red to draw your attention. If any new loans have been saved as drafts and not yet published, you will see a link to drafts. If there are no drafts, then this link will not be displayed. Next to lifetime loans, you will see the total number of loans that your organization has ever posted in PA2. Click the arrow to display a queue that shows loans in all statuses. For the definition of a status, click the question mark icon. You can also click the status link to display a list of all loans in that status. Next, let's scroll down to the tables in the center of the home page. We recommend that you refer to these tables regularly as they contain information that will help your organization manage the volume of loans that you post to Kiva. The fundraising summary displays your overall credit limit and the amount of credit limit that you still have available to use. If your organization uses loan themes, you will see the credit limit further broken down by themes. Click the blue links next to the amounts for more information on how they are calculated. 
In the Loan Funding Information section, the Time Left to Fund table displays the total number and total USD value of all loans that are currently in fundraising status. These loans are broken out by the number of days remaining for them to fundraise. For example, under the One Day column, you can see how many loans will expire if they do not become 100% funded within one day, as well as the total USD value of those loans. The Percent of Loans Funded table displays the percent of your organization's loans that were fully funded in the three months prior to the most recently invoiced month. This table also includes the percent of loans funded across all HEBA partners in your region. This comparison can serve as a useful benchmark for your organization. Finally, at the bottom of the home page, you will see announcements of new features from Kiva, the daily exchange rate, and your personal PA2 statistics. Next, let's briefly review the purposes of the other tabs in PA2. The New Loans tab is where you will go to post new loans for funding by Kiva lenders. The process to post a new loan is covered in a separate video. The Repayments tab is where you will go to report repayments to Kiva on a monthly basis. The process to report repayments is covered in a separate video. The Journals tab is where you will go to post journals that update Kiva lenders on your borrower's progress. The process to post a journal is covered in a separate video. The Reports tab contains links to many useful reports. Please refer to the PA2 manual for more information about these reports. Finally, the Account tab is where you can view statistics about your organization and download monthly statements. You can also manage important settings for your organization, create PA2 accounts for other staff, and manage locations. Please refer to the PA2 manual for more details. Before we end this lesson, here's one more important tip. At the top of every page in PA2, you can find a link to the Help Center. The Help Center contains all of Kiva's policies and other useful information. If you ever have any questions about how to work with Kiva, it's a good idea to check the Help Center first. Now that you have completed this lesson, you should be able to understand the basic navigational elements of PA2, understand the home page in PA2, understand the purpose of each tab in PA2, and access the Partner Help Center. Thank you for completing this lesson of the Kiva Partner Academy. Hope to see you again soon.